afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on this... Is this Thursday? Yes, I believe it's Thursday afternoon. Um, I wanted to, uh, for Dawn, was kind of interested in how my lights were set up. I thought I would show you a little bit of uh, where it, what it looks like right now. This one's actually aimed wrong. I may have touched it or something. It should be aim more down that way there you go should be should be kind of aimed at the center of the bench that one's needs to go down to hair too i think but anyway that's uh there's the one sticking out let me get a another shot of this over here and you can see the uh the swivel that it's on i think i'm looking at the right thing uh we'll let it go out or in and uh of course the uh clamp on the light will allow some flexibility as well as the light itself can be rotated so both are the same way that's the same exact setup over on that side and uh, I, I, I put them down a little lower than they were originally thinking maybe maybe that that's what I needed because I sit at that level and I think if the light is shining on the uh, object that I'm working on I do believe it's better for my eyes. Now, that's another thing. I I certainly don't do this for the video. I um, I basically do this for so I can see. And the better I can see, the better I can do working on stuff or that's just my kind of opinion on that. So, you know, let me uh, let me adjust that one over there a little bit and then I'll turn them on and you'll see. Now, you can see, I think that that lights up pretty good and this one's down a little too low now I think there we go that's it that's about perfect right there you can see where it's aimed you can see where that one's aimed and uh, like I said it's it gives me a good lighting over the entire bench front front of something the top of something and uh, I think that's what I was after I uh, you can see my Sony down there on the bench, right there. I'm gonna be using that uh, Gary. Wondered what kind of uh, weight that uh, camera boom would support. I think it will support quite a bit, and you can tighten those um, clamps up on the uh, joints, and uh, if if necessary, to use a larger or a heavier camera, I think. But the way it is right now, I think it would support any any kind of flash memory camera. And that's the Sony there is probably one of the heavier ones. But uh, anyway, we're going to try that. Now the, I, I haven't, I'm not addressing the elephant in the room. <laughs> that is my birthday present right there uh, that we are looking at. And the uh, center of the uh, screen there. That's the uh, lamp that my granddaughter Jordan got me for my birthday. And let's take a, a little closer look at this. This is kind of neat lamp. Of course, it's got the light, you know, here that's uh, adjustable uh, around here. It can be adjusted in any way possible. That, and it also has, I'm going to sit down here, just bear with me a second. It also has a USB charger. Is that nice or what? Yeah. Oh, there it is over there. Couldn't find it. Where's that? But anyway, has two outlets on it for whatever, and the USB charger, and that's nice. And I'm getting ready to put a light bulb in it, but uh, I haven't even got the cord off of it yet. But we have storage here, which you know, you guys know that works on stuff like this. You always need a little storage space for this or that. And I, I, I you know. I just think that uh, this is a nice little gift, and I really appreciate it, and uh, I will get some use out of it, because those uh, uh, little LED lights up there are nice in their own way, I guess, but I don't think they'll put out the light that this thing does, so I'm pretty sure they won't. So Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm going to use this Sony camera. This is, uh, although it's not real heavy, it's, well, it's dirty, but it's heavier than, than any camera I have as far as the flash memory type. 
and it, I'm, I'm sure it will work just fine with the camera boom. But what I intend to do here shortly, and I will add this to the video, is to take the, um, I have yet to test the tester. <laughs> So I want to take that out of its packages, and uh, I'm going to set up a little chart here so I can record the um, transistors uh, that f for the uh, FET meter, and I'm going to try to match a couple of those up so where I can get you know something that's fairly close. And uh, so anyway, uh, I think I have my lighting complete now. Uh, I'm going to say I have it complete because, like I said everything is in place i have my magnification lamp for those close-up things that i need i have this lamp now to provide light for whatever i need it for and i got my side lights on they're working great i even have the led lights if i need those they can be used for lighting anything i'm gonna say i have the lights covered <laughs> now that's not to say that i won't adjust them again I may uh, if I if it comes down to the fact that these are not are too low now I may uh, uh, you hear me squirming in my chair uh, I'm gonna do some work on it too I'm gonna raise it up the thickness of this basically and I think it it needs a little I'm just a little too low I mean I don't know why I am but I am so <laughs> anyway um, I do have some uh, adjustments to do on the uh, on the bench. Let me put this down here out of the way a second. There we go. And uh, due to the uh, camera boom, obviously. Um, but uh, oh, I love that camera boom. That is great uh, because, as you can see, when I, I push it, push it back, it it does do that. It goes up against the uh, pegboard. Now I was thinking this would be easier to if i had it out here and put it down see i can't get it to go down i don't know if it's something i'm doing wrong or what but i am going to investigate that a little further and uh, see what the deal is but like i said it works great it's got enough uh, resistance there that you know it will stay wherever i put it i believe and uh, like i said I, I do really like that all right i want to add <clears throat> excuse me i want to add this a uh, little bit to this uh video um i wanted to uh, for i forgot to show this this is the uh, thumb screw for a, a locking this down in place and it can be locked pretty much in place it's you can see it's pretty pretty steady there so i just usually i will leave that loose because like i said it's it's fine there's resistance in there that's a rubberized uh, coating on the inside and I think that will be fine. But I just wanted to add that to it so you could see that it does have a positive lock on it. So uh, my bench is getting dirty again. It, it always does. But <laughs> yeah, like I said, I have to find some places. I, those brushes there that are on the bench was just up there temporary anyway. I wasn't really going to leave that there. The uh, uh, picks, the uh, probes, whatever you want to call them, um, going to have to be moved up a hair, I do believe because they're basically resting on top of that. Either that, I can move that back down where it was, which I may do. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. And that would that would leave the uh, picks, uh, could be where they stay at now. The um, thing that uh, I had up there, there was something I had up there I thought that I needed to to address, but maybe not. Uh, anyway, if I, if I figure it out, I'll come back and show you or tell you about it. But anyway, I think that's gonna work out fine, like I said. And I'm going to set up here now. These, oh, this is already eight. Okay, let me just do. I'm just going to go ahead and post this one because it's already uh, almost nine minutes. And you know, um, I think uh, I think it's probably. Oh, this is here. This these are the ones I had to move. Okay, now these uh, will have to be placed somewhere else. But these again, they don't get used much, so I'm going to put them out of the way somewhere and. So, anywho, let me, uh, like I say, I am over at nine minutes now. Let me uh, get this in the uh, editor and, oh, well, not an editor, but I'll just make I'll start making another video as well, I'll do. And I want to, like I said, use the uh, Sony and uh, try to videotape the close-ups of, of uh, my uh, tests and things. So, let me get set up for that and I'll come back for that. But this will do it for this video. So, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see ya.